Okay, let's do a little testing on this. I tried this the other day and I wasn't getting anything through it and it was suggested again in the comments that I could do this and I don't think you can actually align the transformer this way because you're not aligning for the capacitances and the tube and the circuit but we can try and feed the signal generator through this and see if we get anything out of it. And I tried this the other day and I really wasn't so we got 460 dialed up here and we're not going through the transformer and this is one volt per division so or no two volts per division so we're about four volts that's the next step up so we'll connect and go through the transformer Now I'm actually going through the transformer. I haven't touched anything on the signal generator. And I haven't touched anything and basically nothing. Okay, that's what I get if I go down to 5 millivolts. So driving 4 volts into the transformer, what's this weird shape? I'm getting 5, 10, 15, 20 millivolts out with 4 volts in. I'm going to try adjusting the frequency. It's going down in frequency, so it's... I'm going to try tuning the, the capacitors now. Tuning the capacitors had no effect, which I kind of figured it wouldn't because it's a, it's not actually in a circuit. Maybe if I put a 100 picofarad cap in series with the uh, signal generator or something, it would. But Or maybe they're not working. All right, I'm going to pull the one out of the radio and test it. So a 6 volts in, I'm getting 15 millivolts out. And this one's about the same, um, 6 volts in, about 20 millivolts out. So I'm going to say that this is not a valid way to test IF transformers.